Who's to say you, you might not be affected by the next big data breach? That question's on the mind of many consumers today. As we become more and more dependent on computers, the chance that you'll be the next victim grows. There is a staggering amount of, of security flaws in the tools and, and the systems that we use. But Dennis Dwyer with Dell SecureWorks says the most damaging flaw could be you, the user. Weak passwords, obvious answers to security questions, and social media make it easy for someone to access your personal and your financial information. The idea is, is that an attacker can use a small amount of information and then take that and, and leverage it in order to launch more sophisticated attacks. There are some easy ways to protect yourself from these cyber attacks. Signing up for a credit monitoring service and watching for suspicious charges on your bank and credit card statements are good places to start. Also, be careful where you're entering items like your social security and driver's license number. Actively questioning why, why would a website even need that information to start with to kind of limit your, um, the footprint of your sensitive data online. And not just online. Many times medical offices will ask for your social security number. Don't give it to them. That's one of the first places a hacker will try to gain your info. Finally, make sure you have a strong password as well as answers to security questions that you don't make obvious. You wouldn't really want to put your mother's maiden name. You would put another password in there that is equally as hard to guess. My number one rule, go buy a separate computer to do your banking. You pay bills online, access your bank account. Well, maybe you're lucky enough to have a brokerage account, something like that. You use a separate computer that you never use email, you never web surf, nothing. So you keep the hackers away from your money. I'm Clark Howard.